If the thought of bringing something home with London splashed across it and that was made in China is not your idea of a good souvenir from a trip, then I'm going to tell you some great alternative souvenirs you can pick up that will be super special and will help remind you of your trip to London. Now, of course, tea is a very British thing and it makes for a great souvenir. And there's lots of shops that you can pick up really nicely packaged British tea from. However, I would actually recommend that you go to a shop in Soho called Algerian Coffee Stores, which essentially is like a pick and mix of getting coffee beans and loose leaf tea. They have over 80 types of coffee to pick from and 120 teas, so you'll definitely find something that will suit you and you can just buy as much as you like because they'll just pop it in the bag for you. The shop has been there since 1887, so they definitely know their tea and their coffee. And while you're in there, make sure you get an espresso. It's probably the only espresso in London. It only costs one pound. Behind me is We Built This City. This is one of the shops that I recommend the most to people who want some London-y things. And it was started by a woman named Alice Mayer, and she's actually here, so let's pop inside and say hello. So Alice, what is We Built This City? So We Built This City is a store on Carnaby Street um, that's on a mission to revolutionize London souvenirs. And we do that by bringing together the very best uh, gifts, art, accessories, um, but all from London's creative community. And why did you start the store? So I started the store five years ago, um, mainly because I wanted to really, really help artists to sell their work and showcase their amazing talents in the heart of the West End in London. Um, but also because I thought that we could tell a much more contemporary, diverse, and kind of much fresher story of London. Um, sometimes the souvenir stores in London can be a bit traditional, so we wanted to freshen it up. So the outside of the shop changes every few months because they get a local London artist to come in and pick a theme and paint something around that theme. So the shop looks completely different every few months. I personally love shopping vintage whenever I travel because if I do pick up something, then every time I wear it, it reminds me of what a great trip that I had. London has a ton of great vintage shops and I actually have a video that tells you about a few of them, which you can watch by clicking the link in the description box of this video. Now, if you like shopping secondhand, but you're not totally into the vintage vibe, London has tons and tons of charity shops which sell secondhand clothing and all the money goes to charities. And I've found some really great finds in charity shops. All you have to do to find them is go to an area's high street. Usually you have to get out of the center of London to find these places. And you should find some really great gems. Honestly, I think photos make for some of the best souvenirs for a trip but it can be really hard to get good pictures of you and your entire travel group, especially while you're in London when there's a lot of things going on in the background, plus the weather is not always very agreeable for nice photos. So if you would love some really nice photos of you and your travel group, you can book a professional photo shoot and let the photographer handle all of the difficult picture taking stuff and you guys just stand there looking nice and then a few days later, you'll have beautiful photos from your visit to London. If you're up for that, then check out our London in my mouth. If you're up for that, check out our London photo sessions. That's exactly what we do. We pair you with a photographer who takes some amazing photos of you. And a few days later, you'll have these great pictures that you can share and appreciate for the rest of your life. Just click the link in the description box of this video to find out more about that. Gin is a huge part of British culture. So if you like spirits, I would recommend picking up a bottle of gin to bring home as a great souvenir. And obviously you'll want to get something that is quite locally brewed. So I recommend coming to the distillery where they have their own bottle shop where you can pick up their Portobello Road gin, most of which is distilled right here on Portobello Road or in South London. So they distill the typical dry gin, of course, but they also offer a bunch of different flavors. And I would recommend trying this one that is called Yorkshire Cup. They distill this one specifically with Yorkshire tea. It is very British. On top of being able to pick up a souvenir for yourself, I recommend going to the distillery and going to the bar called The Resting Room 
on the ground floor and having yourself a nice gin cocktail. The bartenders are really good and the cocktails are fantastic. In fact, I mentioned them in my video about cool bars to visit London that you've never heard of, which you can watch by clicking the box that's popping up right below me. Also have a bunch of different flavors that you can try and flavors? Are they called flavors? 